Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're here to show you the chain style drag hair. These are used for a lot of different things in several different ways. We've turned it upside down to give you an idea of what it's going to, what these were really designed for was to go over large pastures that had a lot of manure piles in them so that actually that's too much fertilizer in a small area. So you would turn it upside down and drag this with these uh, tips down and it breaks up all the hard manure clumps, things like that, spread out your fertilizer in your pasture, and uh, so that's going to help all that. Now a lot of people have decided to use these for a lot of things that work great. This toolbar here is going to hook into these hooks here. This is a six foot drag hair, so it's pretty narrow. It's seven feet long, and so in this position here, Upside down, a lot of people use it for uh, horse riding arenas, for uh, their horses, uh, baseball diamonds, a lot of things. Uh, we're going to turn it upside down in its proper position to be used for like in a pasture, breaking up your uh, manure piles and so forth. A lot of people use it to go over their gardens and smooth out after their disc arrows. So that's what we're going to do with it. It's got a lot of different uses. We're going to hook it to the toolbar. We're going to pull it through here, show you how it levels out this unlevel ground. But if you wanted to just smooth out a baseball diamond or your uh, horse riding arena, that's the direction you would put it in, upside down. That's going to drag the trash off the top of it and give it that fine groom look that you want for a really nice garden. So you can see it pulling the trash out, gonna leave you a nice smooth area. I hope these videos are really working good for everybody because it sure is hot out here today. It's about 95 degrees with a heat index of 100, so we're out here sweating a little bit. But just to give you an idea on the drag here, after you've plowed and disked, you've still got a little trash, rocks, and clods that are going to be in here. This half has what we did in this direction. You can kind of get an idea of the crap it pulled out of the ground. Then we'll show you up here at the clods and stuff that it pulled out. So we do have the good North Carolina clods around here that get as hard as a rock. And here's what it's pulled out on this side when we were pulling in this direction. A lot of big clods, grass, stuff you don't want in your garden when you're planting by hand especially. So now we've got it in position like for a horse arena or doing your uh, any of your really fine grading you might have, whether it be a baseball diamond or something, it's not going to do any damage to your turf. But your, your, your areas that are clay are going to really smooth them out. This is not near as smooth as you would have a baseball diamond, of course, or your uh, horse arena, but it'll give you an idea how it does leave a smoother look on top of the ground. So if you're in a really tight area, uh, you got a small garden or a horse arena where you need to be able to make sharp turns, you've got two things you can do. You can lengthen your draw bar out a little further, that'll help some, but to get a lot where you can turn any way you want to, you can always add a piece of chain a couple of feet long from this loop right here to your draw bar, and then you can turn as sharp as you want without the bars getting into your tires like it's going to here. For those of you that are doing food plots with a disc era, 
We're showing what it looks like after you go over it with the drag hair to just pull some of the loose uh, wire grass and stuff off the top. Okay, for those that are using you for this intended use of a drag hair, which is going through your pastures and breaking up your manure clods, we're going to show you how you can go over your grass and it really is not going to disturb your grass, but it's going to break up your manure piles to make you good fertilizer instead of bad fertilizer, which is too concentrated. So it may pull up a little bit of wire grass, but it's not going to hurt the grass. And that would be breaking up all your manure clods. And you can pull this through your pasture about two or three times that speed if you like to cover some ground. <laughs>